Welcome everybody to Hope Team League, where we are showcasing the latest and greatest players in the North American StarCraft scene. This is Polygon Gaming, where StarCraft 2 lives, and tonight we are continuing the round robin stage of this league with our fantastic teams, Risen and Nocturnal Gamers. Risen has recently been knocked down to second place after Psystorm's brutal stomping of Psionic Aftermath in the previous match last Tuesday. So they are looking to get some more points to get back up into that top spot tonight. Now giving you over to our fantastic casters. First off, doing double duty as observer and caster for this event, he is Apogee. And an admin for Proxy Gaunt or for Proxy Tempest and for Gauntlet, and also a Proxy Tempest caster, he is Phoenix Tears. Take it away, y'all. Hey guys and welcome. Um this is gonna be a bit different tonight because both of us, Apogee and you, are doing dual well, roles, uh, I must say. It's going to be fun, man. It's going to be a good yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to chill and, and cast from StarCraft. So we but, got... Uh, sorry, yeah, go you on. go ahead. Now we got a PvZ on Abyssal Reef to start things off. And it's fortunate that, that Phoenix over here is a random player. Because I play Terrence, I'm going to be very useless as far as the analysis is concerned for this. Yeah, I guess we can talk about the matchup. Uh, it has definitely gone towards um, fin uh, Hydraling Bane for Zerg, and that, that became a real issue for Process, but they're starting to defend it much, much better with uh, with some Storm. you, you got to get to Storm early, but on Abyssal Reef, I think it's a much better map for Process because it's easier to take that third and fourth base. And once you can defend those Hydraling Bane attacks, the Pros then needs to do his, their own kind of counter damage to stop the Zerg from getting to Broodlords because that's a very difficult position for the, the Protoss to be in. Or they can even just go straight for Tempest. If they get Tempest before the Zerg gets Broodlords, then it's a different kind of game. But it's it's basically all up to the Zerg to, to, to do damage in the way the matchup is. But I mean, you, there's some cheese that Protoss can do. There's some cheese that Zerg can do, that's for sure. But oh, yeah. I... I I genuinely think that it's just going to be Shitmap's throwing some stuff at, at Jet and see how well he can hold it. Let's well, get into this game, man. So in the bottom right corner, starting things off for Risen, it is Jet. I like that. Succinct, one syllable. <laughs> and the top left with those awesome, awesome war chest skins. Playing in the pink for Nocturnal Game is, he is Shitmap's. <laughs> uh, that tickles me. I, I love that name. <laughs> I wonder if that's supposed to be like a pun on, because there's that site, you know, Weed Maps, that like tells you where to go to, you know, get hooked up and stuff. I wonder if there's like a site called Shit Maps where it just tells you where like the best toilets are. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's Much more like, useful. Yeah, it would be way more useful, man. That was like one of like the most useful things when I first started going to school, was like, that was what. Like the treasured info everyone passed around is like what buildings had like the most you know private bathrooms well stocked and everything oh yeah it's the same same when i when i was at university the last three years uh, it took me like a year to find the best bathroom <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely way more important but i, th I think i saw a, a stargate from jet which isn't a surprise at all i mean it is it is a tiny bit quicker than you normally would see but the Stargate is normally the process tech choice. You know, they go for oracles uh, to get some drone damage, even to get that revelations later, and even for uh, oh, I can't remember what those things are called now. Oh, stasis ward. Stasis wardies, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, or I mean, so, so you go ahead. No, I was, I was just reading the, the patch notes for uh, like this mega post BlizzCon patch, and I think the new Stasis Ward is not going to affect Larva. Cause I didn't realize that until lately. Like, you come in, you drop the Stasis Ward, and then like their five drones just have to sit there awkwardly in their Larva <laughs> for like 30 seconds. Yeah, so. I, no, I, no one was doing it before Stats started to do it. Doing it. And he did it against Sue in the GSL Finals, and then everyone has started doing it, and it became a massive problem. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's so annoying because you, you, even when they get caught in the, the stasis ward, you have to re-put them back to what they were doing. They just stay idle. And if you can get that lava as well, it just delays... Oh, can you delay overlords with supply blocks to Zerg for so, 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 so long. And also just general delays production. And the Zerg, you always want constant production from that lava because it's the only type of production the Zerg player has. 
Yeah, it's pretty triggering. Well, see, he's coming in here with the Oracle now. See if you can get get anything from oh, it. Oh, no, no spore. That's so bad. You have to have spores. Even though there's two queens now, it's starting to lose four drones already. It's pretty bad. You, you, you need to put blind spores up against, against Protoss because... Oh, he could lose the Oracle. Ooh, okay, gets one. It's close. Seven health. Wow. So a second Oracle is starting. I wonder, I mean, is there like a kind of... Like a standard number of oracles people do because I've seen some Haas games, dude. Yeah, I don't know if that's where we're quite going, but in the meta now, it's been like it's migrating very quickly. There, it's mass oracles because they're just so strong against Zerg. And if you Second do mass 30. oracles, you can oh, I think it is going to be mass oracles. And it it's so hard for a Zerg player to take a fourth base because it just melts everything, even spores, they melt queens. It, it, it becomes very rough for the Zerg if it gets into that situation. But even if the, the Protoss decides to go mass oracles and then decides, no, this is actually not going to work, they can just turtle with Stasis Wards and just go mass <laughs> Stasis Wards and turtle up to carries with Ostra, Ostra works. I think it's it's super strong now. It's something that Haas used to do a lot, but now it's Neve started to even do it more yeah. in tournaments. Even some of, I've seen some of the Koreans like Classic do it as well. He loves his mass oracles. He even does it uh, so against Terran. Innovation for the games with the super tournament. Just yeah, like a was, million oracles. Was, what are you gonna do? Yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely going to be mass oracles with the third stock. It, there's no doubt. But the Zerg player is getting a Hydra damage. This is a perfect response. Well, um, third Stargate. Man, it's pretty. Uh, so I guess you get like one Phoenix just to clear up Overlords to kind of push everything back. Yeah, that, that, that's so important because you want to deny uh, the vision for, for the Zerg player. You, if, you, if you know where the Oracles and you can get your Hydras in place, but if, if you are, your Hydras are on the third base and these mass Oracles fly into your main base, you can lose your lane in seconds. That's so, and that's so, so bad for the Zerg player. You can just lose bases in seconds and the Oracles just fly straight out. He um, scouted but, uh, the, second, um, the second Stargate. I don't think he saw the third, but I think even the second Stargate has got a... Gotta make you kind of nervous. Yeah, I think the fact that he went Oracle so early definitely, uh, definitely points to he like he should know. But as you say, he hasn't got exactly scouting information he needs. He might still not get it with this overseer. Oh my god! Okay, he's, he sees it. I think he did. I think he must have. Yeah, he sees the third one. Well, I mean, there's still a lot of gateways going down behind this. I think he is going to have six in total, so maybe adepts or something on the ground. It's not like, like total oracle, but it's going to be quite a lot of them, that's for sure. Yeah. A lot of processes like to do um, zealots behind it because you can get that charge, which is so strong. And also, they, co dump, they cost only minerals. They only cost minerals, so... Um... Yeah, that's smart. That makes sense. Yeah. There we go. A couple of zealots yeah. coming in. So how do you feel about this third base? So is this like the meta base now? I've seen like even in TVZ, Zerg's starting to favor this this third base. I know all the Koreans favor that, like Sola and Su and Rogue do. And but a lot of the, the foreigners still choose the the normal third base and take the fourth base on the higher ground or the lower ground. But I mean, it makes sense to me to, to take that third as a as a third base because it's further away from the Protoss. Uh, you can spread creep much, much easier across the, the, the right side of the map, and it's easier to defend all four of your bases, but I think uh, taking the other third is also okay as well. But yeah, the shit maps is going to go for Hydro, just a Hydro Ling attack, but I think it might, it might fall straight on its face with the overcharges and the Zealots. The charge isn't done yet, which is a bit of an issue, but these Oracles just melt these Hydras. Oh, oh, they get, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, that hurt. I guess there's still no there's no probers at this fourth yet, but I mean the fourth base is not even done yet for shit maps. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling kind of nervous for his position in this game. Yeah, this is bad, and he supply dropped heavily. And he doesn't have the hydro count now to deal with. He's making a bunch of roaches. Mm, that's, that, 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 that's that's for the zealots. But what are they gonna do against these oracles? I I think he can engage. I don't know even know why. Jets going back, you should have taken those oracles and just engaged all those hydras. There wasn't enough. Oh, and this fourth base is just going to melt. And that, that's so bad. Zerg needs this fourth base. If he do, Zerg doesn't get this fourth base, it's just 
It's a oh, three yeah. base economy. Oh, and he, no yeah, you should. Oh, uh, I think that's that. GG. Oh, poor Roaches. So <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude, somewhere, somewhere David Cam is. Just a warm feeling. Just going down the side. <laughs> All right, GG. Jet takes the first, uh, first map of this series for the... Risen is uh, is undefeated, right? Yeah, Risen. Yeah, I don't think they, they've lost a map just yet in the round robin, which is pretty cool. That's pretty hard to do. And we haven't seen Jet, I don't think, play yet for them, so... No, no. He's the, he is there, actually. In fact, he's their manager. Um, normally just organizing behind the scenes. The first time we've actually seen him play. And he, he just... He, he executed the Oracle build so, so well. Like, it, it does seem pretty easy. Oracles are pretty good right now, but it's difficult to, to uh, get right. He denied Scrounny for so long. He denied that fourth base when it needed to, and he just wrecked that attack that, that uh, shit maps trying to do. And from there, it, just, it wasn't really yeah. a salvageable position. It just really wasn't. You need that anti-air. You can't keep losing Hydras. And he had no other answer to it, which was a really big issue. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like... a. For for how much econ it seemed like ship maps was sacrificing, like that fourth was I don't even think that fourth was started when he marched across the map with the hydras. I don't know. I feel like maybe because he had he had decent upgrades. Maybe if he just had more hydras or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I, I, oh, sorry. Go on. I was just gonna quickly say uh, so many zergs have been trying to do these attacks. I think the best is just try and turtle and, and get up to a decent kind of army. Try and get their fourth base as soon as possible. Uh, but he just he went for that attack and it just fell straight on his face and from there it's a very difficult position for the Zerg. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.